Hello, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the GNS sensor with the 5G hub board. So first off, you want to go to our GitHub page where you can download the 5G NB IoT master file. So what's included in this file is all the sketches and files you need to run this sensor with the 5G hub board. So to download this file, all you need to do is click on the green button right here and download the zip file. Now once you've downloaded the zip file, you can go to your downloads folder and extract it there. Now to open the specific sketch, all we need to do is click on the master file and navigate to our kit sketches. And we want to scroll down to lesson 24, the LC29D. And this is the GNSS receiver. Now, what's so special about the sensor? Well, this sensor has a specific feature called dead reckoning. And what does this mean exactly? This means that this sensor can run without a GPS connection. Basically, by using the six axis gyro, it can tell where you are without a actual signal, which is why the sensor is so good and very effective. So I'll pull up a wiring diagram showing you how to connect the wires properly to the pins between the two sensors. Okay, so here is the wiring diagram. So it's pretty simple. We only have five wires. So we want to start off by connecting the ground from the 5G hub board to the ground on the GNSS sensor at the bottom left and it's the leftmost pin and then we want to connect the 5 volt to the 5 volt pin which is right across from the ground pin past battery and then we want to connect our 3.3 volt pin from the 5G hub board to GPS enable and that will connect to the GNSS pin which is right above SDA pin and then we want to connect our RX and TX this is how our two boards will communicate so PA6 right here uh, below PA7 will connect to RXD and then PA7 from the 5G hub board will connect to TXD on the GNSS sensor. So now that we open up our code basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be reading the data out of the GNS sensor and in, th in this case I'm running it without a antenna so this is going to be using its dead reckoning feature and I'll show you exactly how you can tell when it's using a GPS signal or the dead reckoning feature as it will show it in the serial monitor so now that we opened our sketch we can go to our tools and select the 5G MB IoT board and we can go to our COM port and select it there as well and now we can verify and upload it so once we upload the sketch, it may restart the board a couple times and it'll show here in the monitor quickly. So here it says CPU reset and now when it's done uploading, all we need to do is open serial monitor. So as we can see over here, I'm going to stop the auto scroll. It says PQTIMU. This means that it's using the dead reckoning feature and here is all our coordinates. So this will show not only our X, Y, and Z position, but also the tilt of the board. And now if we turn on auto scrolling again, if I move the board and if I tilt the board as well we can see how the numbers are changing okay so now here's a, another clip where we have our serial, serial monitor but in this case we have an antenna connected to our GNSS sensor which looks like this so yeah basically I hooked up an antenna to the GNSS sensor which you can get off our website and when we leave the sensor outside for a little bit connected to a laptop it will walk on to multiple other satellites so here's a snippet of the serial monitor where we can see these multiple different commands and as we can see we have in between the pqt messages we have another message such as glgs and these are the names of other satellites for example GLGSV is a Russian satellite and here we can see if we search it up we can see what it means we can see the message format we can see the total number of messages message number and number of satellites in view so number of satellites in view in this case is represented by N and if we go back to the snippet and look at it we can see 
that we have around five satellites connected and that can vary a little bit but yeah that's for example what the messages could show so yeah that's pretty much it for this video it's pretty simple to set up the gnss board with the 5g hub board using arduino and yeah thanks for watching